first steps tapped. How are you guys? We are missing you so much. Are you being good? Are you doing lots of work at home and having lots of fun too? I hope so. And I hope you're staying active and doing lots of exercise as well. And maybe you've done your tap class a few times since I've seen you last. So well done if that's you. That's brilliant. Now today, your grown-ups at home might have already played you your first steps tap class. So hopefully you've already done some tap today. But I'm going to give you a little routine to do that might be quite fun to do with a grown-up in the room as well. So grown-ups, if you could get involved in this one, this will be really fun. It's based on something that we've done a long time ago in class when we used to do Wake Kate Up. But it's a little bit more complicated because you're getting so good now. Are you ready to try it with me? So what you want really, grown-ups, is if you possibly can, be trying to have a little, a little relax on a sofa or a chair in front of your child. Yes, yeah, so near the camera, near the, your TV screen. And you're gonna, we're going to try and wake you up with our lovely footwork. So what we're looking at is something called light and shade. Can we be quiet with our feet? Yes, we can. Can we be really noisy with our feet in tap? Yes, we can. And don't worry if you're doing it on a carpet, you can just pretend to be really noisy. All right, so first of all, children, if you could go as far back in whatever space you've got, whether it's your living room or your kitchen, go to the back of that space for me now. And grown-ups, if you could be as far away from your child as physically possible in your space, nearest to the screen where I'm teaching, and you're going to have a little lie down, a little sit down, and maybe just nod off for a minute, and we're going to see if we can wake you up. So, let's start with our feet together. Check. Lovely. Well done. Take your right hand and place your finger over your lips as if we're saying shh. And take your other arm out. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to creep forwards for four. Can you count with me, everybody? Right leg one, left leg two, Right leg three, left leg four. Now I am making a teeny bit of noise with my tap shoes, that's okay. Yeah, you are gonna make a little bit of metal noise with your tap shoes if you've got them on. Let's do that again, ready? One, and two, and three, and four. Well done. Now we're gonna, you know, our pet grown up really needs to wake up now. So we're gonna take our arms out to side in position to our T, and we're gonna practice our stand across and step, stand across and step, stand across and step. Four times. Take your right foot across first. One and two and three and four. Oh, they nearly woke up then, but perhaps we should be quiet again for a moment. So you're going to do your creeps around in a circle now on the spot. Four creeps. That's right, four. Ready? Going round to your right. A one, a two, a three, a four. Fantastic. Shall we stamp loud and again and see if we can wake them up? Well done. Stamp and step. that movement well done to taking your leg across the corner and not stepping over your other leg like you're busting through a weed we don't want to see that we want a nice long line there much better well done now they were stirring again so we're going to show how quiet we can step up on the balls of our feet for eight counts six seven eight and then this is the grand finale really nice eight loud stamps We've woken them up and they don't look very happy. <gasps> Grown up's going to give them your biggest tall, angry face. Well done. So we're going to skip away from them backwards if you can. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step. Well tried. We normally skip forwards, don't we? Did you know that you can skip backwards in dance and you can skip on the spot? So if you haven't got very much room, let's take this on the spot. Hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step. Well done. But if you can get a bit of further away from your grown-ups, it might be a good idea. So take it back if you can. Wake them up. But they've told you it doesn't matter. It's okay. I'm going to go back to sleep now, grown-ups. So we're going to get ready to do it again. Let's go. A creep, a two, a three, a four. And then we step and step. And three, and four. Round you go. A creep. Get that finger back over your lips. A three. A four and again, step and step, step and step and four. Oh, we're waking up, let's go quietly. Step, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, they're looking a bit cross now. Let's skip away all the way to the back and get ready to do it again, bending those knees. Well done. Let's try it with the music because it's really rather fun. And you've heard it before. 
and it's the Pink Panther tune. Everybody ready quickly to start? Grown-ups, are you pretending to have your nap for me? with your lovely footwork <gasps> even more brilliant well done so what we're looking for there grown-ups if you want to help your children a little bit with their with their sounds is the lightness on the balls of the feet when you're up for the steps we're just picking up our feet a little bit we're not lifting our knees up too high so can you try that with me children just little steps from foot to foot they do that in their starlight level two exam in tap and going across to the corners on their stamps. It's quite a tricky one. We actually do that in level one. Quite a challenging one, that one. And then, of course, just making light sounds on the creeps. And making sure also that they don't keep their knees straight on the stamps, that you actually bend your knees and get down. It's much more comfortable. Yes, it doesn't jog the joints. And you'll get good stamps then as well if you bend your knees. And again, the knees don't need to come up too high on those stamps. So, it's got a bit of pattern, a bit of direction, and a bit of movement memory. Now, children, if you've got some energy left today, why don't you get mummies and daddies at home to find the add-on video that we did last week for you? Yes, the first add-on, which was the Hawaiian roller coaster one. And can you remember what we did in that one? That's right, we did a call and a response. So, Kate did some tapping, and then... <coughs> you did some tapping back as well, didn't you? Do you remember? So that's all explained in the previous video. So if you'd like to now do a little bit more with your children, that would be brilliant because they're learning about light and shade in this week's add-on and last week they were learning about call and response. Um, so stopping and listening and then doing some footwork, doing some tap. It's been brilliant to um, have you again. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we really miss you and hope to see you soon, but keep an eye on all your emails and messages on Facebook for any news. And we'll see you next week for a little bit more. Bye, First Steps. Bye.